This is a small modular reactor. It produces nuclear power. And the government of Saskatchewan says these reactors, known as SMRs, are likely the future of clean energy in the province. The government of Saskatchewan says nuclear power will help the province achieve net zero emissions in the electrical grid. Right now, 76% of the province's electricity is generated by fossil fuels. We are intending to go forward with one reactor now and go through the consultation process both with the public and with First Nations. Uh, if that goes as, uh, as well as, as we'd like it to do, uh, it certainly would raise the issue of whether we would produce more. One 300 megawatt reactor could power 300,000 homes. If SMRs are deployed, they will provide baseload power, along with electricity from wind and solar. The province is looking into four reactors at $5 billion each. Ontario is Canada's oldest nuclear jurisdiction, having powered its province with nuclear energy for the last 70 years. Ontario's Minister of Energy says in light of Russia's war with Ukraine, energy autonomy is more important than ever. Well, there's a lot of interest. When I say the world is watching, the world really is watching our SMR program. Meanwhile, the official opposition says it supports the plan for SMRs. But right now where we need to be focused as a province is on the here and now, not what may be coming down the line 12 years from now, but we have an affordability crisis. Uh, we have a government that's looking to increase power rates. The government of Saskatchewan says SMRs will also benefit the economy and create thousands of new jobs. If the province goes ahead with SMRs, it's projected that the first reactor wouldn't be operational for at least 12 years or in 2034. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News. Regina.